Alrighty. Alright guys, this is the stuff that you guys don't get to see a whole lot of. It's just hours and hours and hours of me uh, farting around with stuff trying to make things fit on these weird uh, custom builds that uh, it's not like you can just buy the parts. But, uh, So the cylinder, the cylinder's bolted down. I got a rag in here to keep crap out of there. Uh, I got all this cut out to clear the reed block uh, quite nicely. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. When I make the gasket, I'll probably make the gasket oversized to seal this area off from heat. It'll also act as a heat reflector so the air can still come around on the back side of the jug instead of just blowing into the carburetor area and uh, right now I'm fitting it up with just the, the stock carb but uh, I had to cut my spacer down thinner and then this is a block I made for the 4910 that uh, I ended up not using on it but uh, I guess all that hours I spent building that didn't go to waste because it looks like I'm going to graft it into into this. This fits uh, pretty decent uh, down in there. The velocity stack and filter, I might have to cut some of this out back here. Nothing nothing lines up for the carb screws, but I kind of figured that was going to happen. Uh, I just, you know, you can only get stuff so close. But what, what I'm looking at now is how this is going to go on there and uh, I'm going to hook the, the throttle cable bracket up. I think I'm going to order, this is plastic, I think I'm going to order, I see they got some metal ones, or aluminum or die cast, I'm not sure what, I'm hoping they're aluminum, because for a 372, I hope I can order one of them, cut off the section I need, and then figure out the, the placement of where I want it, and then I can TIG weld it uh, wherever, I, wherever I need it to, uh, for the uh, you know TIG welded on here so I can hook the throttle cable up to, to pull that uh, if I can't maybe I can drill and tap it to to make that work if I can't if I can't get that I'll, I'll figure out some way to, to make a bracket or something and bolt it in but uh, it's it's coming along pretty good uh, this thing hardly pull it over she is a she's got a ton even with the it's got a bunch even with the compression release so I think she's gonna make some good power I hope so but I wanted to give an update on the on the vid I'm still I'm still I'd like to run if I can get away with running the original car by I will but if not maybe I can redrill the holes and or just, you know, actually maybe I can, yeah, I guess I can just bolt this carb in crooked, it ain't going to hurt nothing. Maybe I'll try to, try to do that, then I ain't got to Swiss cheese the side of this cover. Uh, I guess I can take it off right now, what did I do with the wrench? But right now it's just bouncing ideas off my, myself and trying to figure out what's going to be the best option for me to make this work. So the carb can go in any position, it don't really matter, it's just as long as I can get go like that, so the curb would be a little crooked. What was I gonna look at here? This is a 390 carburetor. I'm hitting some, I think it's this rubber grommet.
Yeah, I could probably make that 390 cardboard too. Run the impulse line right down. So I, I don't know. It, uh, I'll have to figure out the the throttle linkage and all that. That's like I said. There's going to be some hurdles. I think getting the carbon throttle linkage is, and all the covers to fit. Uh, I'm not too worried about the rear cover because it's going to have a stack on it. Uh, after I get all that that stuff sorted out, then the next biggest hurdle will be cutting that pipe apart and welding that all up and making making that work. But I guess I've blabbered on here enough. I just wanted to give you guys an update. This is what I'm going to be puttering with all all day today, trying to figure out how I want to do stuff. So uh, I will I will get there eventually. It's just when you're hand fabricating stuff that was never intended for something it can get a little a little tricky but yeah I don't know kind of like the way that fits better than the OEM one it might be a better option I can see the choke lever in here I can probably fab up some sort of choke or maybe this one won't even get a choke so all right, uh, I'm going to let you guys go. I just thought I'd give you guys an update on how far I've gotten along on it. So you guys take it easy and have a good one. Enjoy your day.